And in today's episode of Flip It or Rip It, now I'm explaining. In today's episode of Flip That Coin, I'm just <laughs> we're gonna see, we're gonna open up this No Cross My GX10 or this Ho Ho GX10. Who are you rooting for? Let me know down there in the comment section before we do that flip. Right, so here we go. Welcome to today's Poker Flip. And let's go ahead and flip this Charizard coin. See, we're going to open up this Ho Ho GX or the Necrozma GX heads. We open up the Ho Ho GX and tells we're going to open up the Necrozma GX. And so let's see. Uh, it's tells. So it looks like we're going to open up this Necrozma GX. And so let's move this Ho Ho tin out of the way. Let's get our um, scissors out. Make a quick cut there to make it a little bit more simple for me because these ones are very, very um, hard to open. If you don't have a, a scissors, they are very hard to open. Let's get this coin back up to where it goes. There you go, Charizard. Just stay there for me. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Go up a little bit. There it goes. Can we still see Ash? Ash is still in the picture, which is good. All right, here we go. Necrozma. Burning Shadows, uh, let's, hope, let's hope that was in good condition because you really never know with these teams. Could be really, really good or it could be really, really bad. We're going to leave that one right there. There it goes, Necrozma GX. Actually, uh, it's in okay condition. I've seen them worse. I've seen them better, but I've seen them a lot worse. This is G code card. Boom. There you go. Let me know down there in the comment section what you guys actually put. Pull out of those code cards. And here we go, we have Guardians Rising, two Burning Shadows, and an Evolutions. So let's start off like this. <clears throat> let's start off with this Burning Shadows right there with Necrozma also on the front. Let's see if it'll bring us any good luck. I do see a green code card. There it goes, guys. One, two, three, four. One, two. And here we go, we have a Duskull Dabbing. You guys know. We have a Tynamo right there. A cutie fly looking all cute and stuff, you know. We have a Raiolo running on the beach. I don't know why he's running from. Looks like he's running from that light tower right there. Or lighthouse, whatever you call it. We have a Rhyhorn. We have a Lightning Energy. We have a Dust Clubs right there. Which is all like, ooh, I am Dust Clubs. Charmeleon. Now, Charmeleon, it was like a teenager kind of Pokemon, so he was always like rebellious and stuff, so Charmeleon, you had some attitude in you. Uh, Tormenting Spray right there, trainer card. We have another Ryulu Reverse Hollow running on the beach, running from that lighthouse. Where is he running from? I don't know. Where is he going? I don't know. Where are you going? And we have the Torchinator, that is the rare non-holographic card. Put that one right there off to the side and onto evolutions with my boy Raichu right there on the front. There he goes. How hard is it to open up that Raichu pack? Here you go. Code card for you guys right there. One, two, three. One, two. And here we go. We have an awesome looking Onyx. Is this Brock's Onyx? I don't know. We have a Nidoran right there. We have a Poliwag. We have a Leaf Energy, a Ratata or Ratata. If you guys like Google Ratata and then put like, so you can tell you the pronunciation, I think it says a Ratata, not Ratata. But you never know. There is a Metapod right there. Imaku is a duo. This is supposed to be a secret rare, but it comes like in the uncommon spot in the card, so I don't know. We have a Hunters right there. We have a Kokuna. This is a Reverse Hollow Kokuna. And a Venusaur EX out of our second pack. That is awesome. Venusaur, he always gets picked last. I don't know why. Like, you know, like Bulbasaur gets picked last. It's always like Charizard. And then, or I guess you want to say Charmander. And then people pick um, Squirtle. And then they pick Bulbasaur. But there it goes. We pull a Venusaur EX. Is it off-center? It does look off center. Look at the heading, um, the like the border on the top, and the border on the bottom. Yeah, you can really see it right here in the back. Off center, you can see some whining right there on the top. Weird, weird, weird. 
So you guys couldn't center it and you guys damaged it. Really guys? Can you guys like, you know, help me out? Here we go. Next booster pack. We have a Guardians Rising with, I think this is Tapu Coco on the front. And boom. Trash. There is the code card for you guys right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, four to the front. No, not to the front. I guess just to the four over two. We have a Gligar right there. Bell Sprout. Looks like he's hiding from somewhere. Or maybe he moved because he's trying to get some sunlight. You know what I'm saying? Am I overthinking it? We have a Cottony right there hiding from the rain. Looks like the rain, right? If I had to guess, i say he's hiding from the rain. Although than Sandrew, he's actually on the snow because he's like a snow Pokemon or something. We have a Mudray. We have a um, Fairy Energy. Aqua Patch. We have a Marang, right? Weird looking Pokemon underwater right there. We have a Sable Eye right there. What is he eating? He's eating jewels. He must be rich. Energy Lodo right there. And a Tapu Lele GX. Isn't it still like a $30 card? We got a Tapu Lele GX. Can I get some hype? <laughs> That is an awesome, awesome pull. So we've actually pulled a Venusaur EX and a Tapu Lele GX. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome tin. Did I say awesome three times? That is how awesome this tin is. You gotta say awesome, 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 awesome sauce. Here is our last pack. There is a code card for you guys right there. As always, let me know down there in the comment section what you guys pull out of any of the code cards that I give out here in the channel or any of the videos there is a Stofo right there look at he's bouncing on uh, Cottonese right there <laughs> they do look like Cottonese right right there is a Meowth just walking through um, um, that Game of Thrones city we have a Crawler right there on the beach Charmander on the ring That is a very, very sad looking Charmander right there. We have a Sneasel right there. But this is a Metal Energy, I believe. We got a Surviper right there. Looks like it's attacking something. But there it goes. We have a Gloom. We have an Azorola. We have a Persian. That is our Reverse Hollow. Looks like he's stuck in something. Well, this is not a Flababy. He was trying to eat a Flababy the other day. But we were like, hey, yo, relax, bro relax but it's he's stuck in something but we can't really see what it is it's off camera and a lichen rock that is the rare non-holographic card that is the last pack for today so to summarize today's pulls which were actually really really good we pulled this venusaur ex which is off center and looks like a little bit damaged from the back we did pull this tapu lele gx I think it's still like 20 30 bucks. I don't know. When it came out, it was like 50 bucks or something like that. So it's awesome. It's awesome. Tapu Lele GX. And of course, everything out of the Necros My GX 10 can go wrong. That Pokemon Flip really worked out today. All right, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell for me, share the channel. I will catch you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching, and you guys have yourselves a great day.